Stop! Lego time! Today's a very special episode of Comics Experiment! Kind of. We're all sitting here at the table, but today we're going to be talking about my experience with Lego at San Diego Comic Con. So before we can get rolling into this, I do need to say that this is a sponsored video. Uh, while I was going out to San Diego, they heard that I was going out there, they hit me up and they said, hey, would you like to come to our booth, experience the Lego experience at San Diego Comic-Con. We're gonna give you some very special minifigs. You're gonna get to create your own. I made the sad lumberjack and we're gonna give you these sets. And I said, yes, I already enjoy Lego as do the three individuals at the table here. Uh, and so this was like one of the easiest deals to say yes to. So what I'm gonna do is tell you guys what we did at San Diego Comic-Con. These three are not properly mic'd up because I am having them race. Now any collector of Lego is probably about to freak out as they're about to open up the exclusive San Diego Comic-Con. Oh my God, that lab, Lumberjack's hair came off. The exclusive, uh, <laughs> the exclusive San Diego Comic-Con sets. Now. Uh, we do have some extra B-roll, so you can see these a little bit closer, but while that, uh, what, e what set are each of you trying to build? The winner of this race will get the Sad Lumberjack minifig. He was all over my Instagram and, and uh, uh, Twitter while we were there. So what set are you building, Dan? I am building the Dark Knight of Gotham City set. Okay. With 427 pieces. All right, Houston, what are you building? I am building... The Captain Marvel and the... Asus? Asus. <laughs> 271 pieces. I'm going for the win. <laughs> and Andy, what are you building? I'm building the Sith Trooper, which for some reason has 484 <laughs> pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Your guys, um, we'll be putting up various B-roll of each of these boxes as we're going through, but why don't you go in three, two, one! Yeah, that was a bit of snap. Give them a head start. start. Give them the <laughs> head start for them. Okay. Gotta get <laughs> so, okay, so they're gonna be building these Lego sets here, guys, but I wanna tell you about what happened. So I got over to San Diego Comic-Con, um, and they, I didn't know this was gonna happen. They said they'd be providing me with some of these Lego, some of these Lego sets to basically build. Uh, and he is gonna be so in the way of everything, isn't he? What I'm finding interesting is the three styles that they are each using for building. Andy taking up as much space as humanly possible to, to ensure that no one else has room to build. Houston properly dumping them all into his box. And Dan is very neatly opening each and every bag. So this is gonna be an interesting race. I don't know, the mic may be picking up a lot of Lego noise right now. A lot of Lego set noises. Um, so anyway guys, uh, what you're also seeing on the table here is now sadly, I had to ship these home which I love, so they gave me three uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive minifigs. Um, the boxes are a little dinged up, but overall, uh, they, they do look pretty good. They, I like them overall. But the, the best one, which I'll save for last, did survive the trip. What's that? They gave me his body and cape in one bag, and his head's over here. <laughs> um, so we got Lego, we got, well, Lego minifig Batman, the zebra Batman. Um, Andy, do you know the Zebra Batman storyline off the top of your head? I do not. No? He does not know the Zebra Batman storyline. It's actually one of the few Batman storylines that I don't know much about. It would probably be from the movie, the Lego movie. Well, well I mean, yeah, the Lego movie, he wore like every yeah, Batman yeah, costume I, ever. Yeah, other than that, I, don't know. I was talking more of the reference point that it came from in the comics. We also got the uh, San Diego Comic-Con, the Barb figure from Stranger Things. The much better scenes of these should be going up on the screen right now. So they gave me this one as well. But this is the awesome one. And I'm gonna look up the exact pronunciation of his name. They gave me the advanced Spider-Man costume from the Gamerverse, okay? And I didn't even know this was actually a thing for the Lego sets that they had him going out. But it's signed by the voice actor for the video game. Which I can't read the signature, I mean, as you can't with many signatures. Um, so let's look that up real fast. So this is actually the one, because the signature looks like this. Yuri Lowenthal. I don't know why they have, oh, performance capture. So John Bubniak was the guy that did all the motion. Mm. Yuri uh, Lo Lowenthal, which is what the signature actually looks like, um, is the actual voice actor for the game. I didn't know they had a separate one. I thought it was the same person. So, yeah, no, so this was actually my favorite thing that they gave us because I have nothing signed by this version of Spider-Man. And after playing the game, I find him to, he's pretty much up there as one of my favorite Spider-Man voice actors, as you get through the whole title. 
Spider-Men voice actors, Spider-Man voice actors. Um, the other cool thing about their experience there was the, I said Lumberjack, I'll explain in a minute, but you were able to go to an iPad-like tablet. Well, you were able to go to a tablet, okay? Um, I'm not quite sure which one they were using, and uh, either way, you get to make your own adventure. So you could basically make your minifig right there on the, the screen. His personality and everything that he would do. For me, I I created the character of Pirate Roy, um, and we'll be yeah. What, do you see uh, Pirate Pirate yeah. Roy? Yeah, Andy, I do you see? Do, wow. do you see Pirate Roy? So what it then did was it printed off this comic with Pirate Roy in the comic. So it's time for a new adventure. Pirate Roy is always ready. Batman is the hero of Gotham City, and I am a fierce warrior. Bad guys don't stand a chance. Um, that's my worst Pirate Roy voice ever. It's not very good. Yar! Batman is the hero of the city of Gotham. The Batman is the hero of Gotham City. And I am my fierce warrior. Pirate Bad Roy. guys do not stand a chance, Yar! How do you use Yar? Is it a verb? Is it an adjective? It's more of a period. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have to go over there, Yar. Uh, Pirate Roy sits down behind the wheel of their desk. Let's do this! That's... The pirate voice is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> How goes the race, guys? Andy's in the lead from what I'm seeing. Nah, Andy screwed up. There's less in his box. Which is weird, because I have more pieces. You have more pieces? So, I have a lot of little pieces, and I can't find them. Well, you put them all in the box at the same time. It was a smart plan at the time. <laughs> I immediately so this was very cool. Uh, the San Diego experience, San Diego experience was great. They had a like life-size Iron Man build out of Legos. They had a life-size Sith Trooper build. Is this is that what this one is called? The Sith Trooper. Yes. Okay. So that was the other one that was there. But they also had a Batman like situation that will be up from the the Instagram. It was life-size Batman, but on the bat in the front of a Batman cover to celebrate the 80th anniversary of Batman. And they also gave you the ability to make this character right here. Uh, I made the sad lumberjack. Now, we were going through and there was a huge line of little kids trying to make their own personal minifig. And what they did was they, they were rotating on sets that were created by like the builders there. I believe a master builder was there. I don't know if he built the sets, but there was a master builder there. And he built all these little sets or the team built these sets and you could position your minifig on those sets. Another thing that was all over my Instagram and Twitter, the Twitters, yep, what's going on there, Dan? I like how, like he's stacking them up. His strategy is very good. Watch Dan beat you with efficiency. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's how you win. I don't, I don't know, he looks really confused for a second. <laughs> so anyway, um, I built the sad lumberjack. Now I felt terrible about doing it because I was with the guy who was like walking me through to get all the photos and get everything he needed to do. And I got over there and like there's a line of kids and I'm kind of like, he's like, well, you can go ahead and build a minifig. And I'm like trying to reach around kids who are trying to build theirs. I'm pretty sure you could. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have too, but I chose not to. That's fair. Um, but that's how we ended up with the sad lumberjack, because I grabbed the first head, the first body, and the first pants I could find. Conveniently, it was a bearded guy in flannel. <laughs> so I then went around and started taking a bunch of photos of uh, sad lumberjack in San Diego Comic-Con, trying to get over the stairs. Um, I got one of him trying to order a coffee. I got <laughs> things like that. To do. He doesn't have a wallet. He doesn't have a wallet. I mean, money. he's got no money. He's got Lego bucks. I assume that's a Does thing. Starbucks take I don't I don't think so. <laughs> the overall, they had one of the best setups at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm not just saying that because it's sponsored, but because like they, they had a good flow for the store with a separate flow to get you into make your minifig comic and a flow to go make this and put them up in different things. Uh, I know at no point that I see like a, so long of a line that you didn't know what line you were getting into kind of a situation. Mm -hmm. So, and I saw a lot of those stands where you just walk in and it's like, wow, there's a cluster of people over here. Where do I go? So it's at this time that I'm realizing my story of San Diego Comic-Con is taking a lot shorter of a time than them building their Lego sets. Turns out, Benny's not that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little interesting. So now we may be entering a time lapse in which they're going to see who can build it. You know what? Great idea, Dylan. If you time lasts up to this point, we're gonna cut to the finale to see who won towards the end of the whole thing. And that's it, guys. Uh, we've now quick cut to the finale. Uh, if you don't believe us that Houston won, 
Uh, Dan's a little upset. He had to move to a different table. Um, and Andy still has this box of stuff that I'm going to jump on the floor and mess with him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Put away my uh, Houston, was building the Captain Marvel set fun? It was, yeah. Um, there are a lot of little pieces on this one, though. Yeah? Uh-huh. Not as many as Dan, though. I, Dan was complaining a lot from the other table that his Lego set had a lot of little pieces. He was like, I picked the wrong one for a race. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much, LEGO, for inviting us out to do this with you at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, this Spider-Man figure signed by the voice actor is still amazing. Uh, and overall, I think that's the end of our video here. You guys had fun, though. That's all that matters, right? I did, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, and uh, that's it. We'll see you next time. And uh, if you want us to build more LEGO set stuff, I, I, I want to say the Death Star, but we discovered that's way too expensive. It's not too expensive. $2,000. Yeah. It's not too expensive. <laughs> But if you want to see us have chatting over building more Lego sets, then please let me know in the comments down below. And uh, either way, I hope you enjoy building some of your own Lego sets, and we'll see you next time right here.